This is the axial skeleton. We're going to begin by talking about your vertebrae. You have cervical vertebrae, which are the top seven, thoracic vertebrae are the middle twelve, and lumbar vertebrae are the bottom five. And now we'll begin talking about the components of each vertebrae. These are the first two cervical vertebrae. C1 is the atlas. C2 is the axis. On the atlas, you have a fovea dentis, which is the inner portion here, and connects to the dens of the axis, which is C2. C1, C2. These are your three main vertebrae, cervical, thoracic, and lumbar. They each essentially have the same components. You have the body, and as you can see they're slightly different. The cervical body is more wide and flat. The thoracic body is more of a heart shape, and the lumbar body is more of a kidney bean shape. Now we're going to talk about the spinous process on the back of each of the vertebrae. They're all slightly different. On the cervical vertebrae, it's short, bifid, has these two projections here, and it projects directly posteriorly. On your thoracic vertebrae, the spinous process is long, sharp, and projects inferiorly. On the lumbar vertebrae, your spinous process is short, blunt, rectangular, and projects directly posteriorly. Now we'll talk about the parts of each vertebrae. You have the superior articular, articular surfaces and the inferior articulating surfaces. Transverse process the vertebral foramen Another difference between the cervical, thoracic, and lumbar vertebrae is that the thoracic has facets for your costal bones, your ribs. This is the transverse facet for the tubercle of the rib. This is the superior costal facet for the head of the rib, and this is the inferior costal facet for the head of the rib below. Part of the axial skeleton, we have the ribs. You have 12 ribs, starting at the top, the first seven are true ribs. Ribs 8 through 12 are the false ribs. And 11 and 12 
are your floating ribs. Each rib, you're going to have the head, which is going to be right next to the body of the vertebrae. You have the neck and the tubercle, which is going to be lying against the transverse costal facet of your thoracic vertebrae and then you have the shaft. Attached to the pelvis you have the sacrum and we'll talk about the parts of the sacrum. This is the body. On the back you have the median sacral crest. Posterior foramina. Anterior sacral foramina. and the coccyx bone, which is essentially the tailbone. In front of the ribs you have your sternum. Three parts of your sternum you have the manubrium, the body, and the lower portion is the xiphoid process. This bone here is the hyoid bone and it floats. It's a floating bone.